Burundi. The Botswanas, we have asked them to sit back. They will enter later, right? What are they? Let me see my hands. The Botswanas in their hands. Ah! From Botswana. Bos, Bos, the women from Botswana, in fact, they, they have very, very, you know. <laughs> I love the women from Botswana. But these two gentlemen here are from Burundi. Burundi, Urundi. They are right here. And they're going to be talking to me. My brother, what's your name? Tell me what your name is. Uh, my name is Alain Obel Pitangimana. Gitangimana. Yeah, B Tangimana. B Tangimana. Yeah, What's the name. meaning of the name Bitangimana? Uh, Bitangimana is like uh, there's a there's a an ending is mana, which mana. means God. So Bitangimana means like everything from God. How about Habarimana? Habjarimana. Habiarimana. Habjarimana means like uh it's, it's God who creates. Ah yeah. and that used to be a president of Burundi, right? Yeah, uh, Rwanda, Burundi and Rwanda. We're gonna get into that soon. And you, what's your name? Okay, my name is Eric Hatungimana. Eric Hatungimana. Yeah. So everybody from your country has a mana at the end of his name, <laughs> right? <laughs> Not everybody, but most of us. Most of you. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. It means you love God. Yeah, of course. Wow. <laughs> Habriyamana. We have Gitungimana. Bitangimana. Bitangimana. And you? Hatungimana. Hatungimana. Oh my God. I'm going to ask you to give me one proverb from your country. Proverb. Proverb. Mm. Do you remember any proverb? You two, you give me a proverb from your country. Okay. Any proverb at all. Okay. And either of, of you could start. Okay, I'll go first. Go with, first. With a proverb containing God, of course. God. Yeah, the proverb goes like this. Say it in your language and you trust it. Yeah, translate. it goes like this. Iwigiye inama vigira imana. Wow. Which That's means good. that, yeah, which means that <laughs> when people go together and plan things as a team, God joins them yeah. and supports them. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's just like supporting the Bible and saying that when two or three people meet, God is part of them. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Oh, my God, have mercy. <laughs> That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> the African proverb of the day. And my brethren, do you have a proverb for us? Um... Oh, you're still trying to remember? I'm trying to remember. I can see you're trying to remember. <laughs> yes, you're trying to remember. <laughs> All right, man. Now, what is the difference between Burundi and Rwanda? Uh, first, let's talk about the, the things that we have in common. Uh, we speak the same language. What language is it? Uh, like, it's similar. Like, we can understand each other. What the was the name of the language? Uh, Kirundi, Kirundi and Rwanda. Oh, wow. Yeah, Kirundi is for Burundi and Kinyarwanda for Rwandan. Ah, yeah, and it's the so, same language. They are very similar. Yeah, very similar. So, so it's like like different accent. Mm. Yeah, almost the same. And uh, yeah, if, if you speak about the difference. <laughs> yeah, I know I, I it guess, used to be yeah. one country, one people. Yeah, Rwanda or Rundi, you know. Yeah. Okay, so that was the, divi the partition of the colonizers. Good. But... Um, it's the story doesn't really clarify that we used to be one country mm -hmm. but you could uh guess that it used to be one country yeah. because there's a lot of similarity <laughs> even the the tribes are the same wow yeah wow so the partition of africa actually divided us we all used to be one coming together and doing all our things together people from rwanda could easily go into burundi and, you know, they could just be seen as Burundians. And people from Burundi could also go into Rwanda. And that, which is a richer country? Is it Burundi or Rwanda? Okay, uh, rich, you mean in terms of what? In terms of mineral resources <laughs> and all that. <laughs> okay, because for me, I have a different perspective about being rich. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, in terms of mineral resources, I think everything is almost the same. Because okay. the land that we have in Burundi and the land in Rwanda is pretty much the same. same. So uh, it's not easy to compare, but in terms of GDP, yeah, Rwanda goes first. Rwanda. <laughs> uh, yeah. Have you been to Rwanda before? Uh, no, but I, I, I'd, I'd really love to go there. I have a plan to visit. Mm. <laughs> and you are in the country, I hear you are computer science students, right? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. For how long have you been in Ghana? Um, 
this is my second year. Second year. Yeah. What did you come to do? Schooling? Uh, schooling. Ah. Yeah. What about Ghana schooling do you like? Mm. Or you just had a chance to come and you decided to come? Yeah, I chose the university. The university was uh, very good. The Ashes University. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the experience of Ghana so far is, is very good. I like Ghanaians. Wow. Yeah, they are what, very good people. What do you like about Ghanaians? Um, they are polite. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Talking about their they like culture, like there's something that they used to say like every day when they are saying something, they add please, mm. uh huh, mm. hi please. <laughs> it's, mm. Yeah, it's very beautiful. I see. Have you found a Ghanaian girlfriend yet, or you don't want one? Uh, no, no, no. Not, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want one yet. <laughs> no, no, or you not have yet. a Burundian girlfriend. I, you know, that's another part. You know, I'm still thinking about you. <laughs> thinking about it. I see. Okay, so you have Jolof in um, Burundi, right? Oh, no, we don't have jollof, but we have, have another type of rice. We call it pilau. Pilau? It's common in East Africa. What? Yeah. What? And what is it like? Okay, pilau, uh, it's, it's kind of plain. It doesn't have a lot of ingredients that change its color, but uh, it's really nice. It has some other ingredients that make it so delicious. What and it doesn't have and it doesn't have much pepper. <laughs> Gold, I like that. I don't like pepper. Sometimes at all. no pepper uh, in pilau unless ah. you ask for it specifically. Mm. Yeah. Burundi is an English-speaking country, right? No, it's a francophone country. Beautiful. Yeah. So you speak French. Yeah. We do. <laughs> how, how did you learn your English? Speaking English like this. <laughs> okay, so um, we had, you know, in Burundi we we learn English in class, but just the same as Anglophone country that the French they learn in class isn't that strong. But we had chance to learn English outside school. Right. So there was for me there was a program that I went to when I was in junior high school. The program is called um, uh, English Access Micro Scholarship Program by the U.S. Embassy in mm. Burundi. So, and after junior high school, when I went to senior high school, after senior high school, there was another program that the two of us went to. Oh, wow. And they really deserve some credits. The reason why I'm mentioning the name is wow. called Tujenge Scholars Program. Wow. So, those two programs give us a strong foundation in English aside what we were seeing in class because what we were learning in class it wasn't uh deep enough yeah yeah, yeah. true it wasn't deep enough mm. so that's how come we can <laughs> express ourselves interesting in so these are not anglophone people these are francophone people mm -hmm. from burundi and they are speaking english like this <laughs> ah whoa. so how did you get into ghana scholarship of yeah we got scholarship okay yeah. And how did they select you? Performance based? Yeah, performance based and also need based. Ah, yeah. need based. I yeah. like that. So that means you are very poor people, right? Not really. Yeah. Um, Slightly they, poor. Yeah. The school that we are attending, even here in Ashisi, it's not anyone who can afford it. Mm. So most, okay, not most, uh, many students, even Ghanaians, are on scholarship. So it's not a school for. Okay, it's a school for everyone, yeah. but uh, it's not anyone who can afford it. Okay. So it really makes a lot of sense that if you are coming outside Ghana, getting a scholarship uh, is super helpful yeah. for you to be yeah. there. Yeah. 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 So, so you, you, you got a scholarship because you are in need? Yes. You too? The same thing? Yeah, almost the same thing. Like, yeah, uh, the they make sure that you are in need and maybe you there's some requirements may, that they need okay also you have them mm. and that's why yeah yeah that's why you got selected ah yeah interesting beautiful yeah. beautiful so you are you 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 both speak french right yeah we yeah. do <laughs> very well or little mm, it's, it's quite well because yeah. we 
we studied in French from our primary one till we finished. Even in university, they continue in French, so, yeah. You have Tutsis and Hutus right there in Burundi, right? Yeah. Are you one of we them? Have, we also have Twa. Twa. Yeah. Wow. Which one do you belong to? Hutu, Tutsi, Twa? <laughs> okay, so that topic is a bit sensitive okay. uh, in our All country. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, sometimes for good intention, yeah. we express who we are. But ah. we, in public settings like this, we prefer not to... Not to go into it. Yeah. I think so. I think the president of Rwanda was also saying that we don't ask people whether they are uh, Hutus or Tutsus because of what happened. Uh, yeah, and so also because of the sense. political I mean, underpinnings and all that, right? Yeah, because if you look at it, to some extent, it seems like there is no problem. But because it's a general thing and the world is watching us or listening to us, there are things that we prefer not to I understand that yeah. I basically I don't yeah. even ask I don't even ask people I mean mm. where they come from and what mm. languages I, I mean ethnic ethnicities mm. they belong to mm. but I mean the Hutu and the Tutsi thing I am sure that if I leave this interview without asking you that many people <laughs> are going to say hey what mm. happened and yeah. which way I mean mm. these are my special guests in the studio and we are having a very beautiful uh, connection and this is the Afro connect what are you expecting at the Afro Connect. Um, it is on the 21st of September. Saturday. Saturday, Saturday yes. coming, the Afro Connect. What do you expect? Have you been there before? Yeah. This yeah. is the first time? Yes. So what's in your mind? What 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 is it like? Um, I'm expecting to see like the talented people coming to showcase their talents or like if the, the, there's businesses that they are coming to showcase so I'm expecting something like that. And wow. Yeah. I, 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 I hope so that I will come. Are you going to be cooking some rice or something? Some jollof? Your jollof? Pilau. 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 Mm. Uh, <laughs> you will try. <laughs> <laughs> we can plan. We can plan and yeah, see plan. how it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. For real. Yeah. And I'm sure that you haven't also been there yet, right? No. First time. Yeah. And what do you expect to see? Okay, I expect to see many um, Africans there from different countries showcasing uh, their, their country, their culture, and the diversity. Because Africa as a continent, we are so diverse, but I also believe that even inside countries, there is some sort of diversity. So I expect also to learn from them, yeah, how their way of doing things and also share how it is for us. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, we are all going to be there, and we look forward to meeting you so we can have some more fun. Yes, we will have some more fun. But before we go, you, um, tell me, um, who is the greatest hero for you in Burundi? In Burundi? Yeah, Burundi. Yeah, um, Burundi. You are thinking. I will give um, you time to think, but let me also ask um, you Karen. another thing. What's the meaning of Burundi? Burundi, I don't think, I don't think. I you don't think, think it has a meaning? I don't know, I don't know. I like Burundi. that. I like your innocence. The way he says, yeah. I don't know. I like that. Do you know what Burundi means? If you don't tell me what Burundi means, you would, you, we are going to take you back to Nigeria. That is where you belong. You are not Burundians. Oh. <laughs> are you Burundians? Okay, so... Uh, are um, you Burundians? We are. Okay. Very proud Burundians. I like that. Yes, yeah, so... Um, the meaning that I've heard for Burundi, I didn't get it from a very credible source. Mm -hmm. The reason why I don't think it would be very wise to <laughs> share it here. <laughs> this is 3FM. So I have two Burundians in the house. They do not know what Burundi means, but the man here is a very smart man. He says, you know what, I know the answer, but it will not be right to say it here on this platform. But I'm going to tell you what Burundi means. Are you ready for that? Are you ready? We are, we are. Oh, because we are in public, I shouldn't say it. Oh, you can say it. I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm sure it's a very positive thing. This is 3FM. And those of you who can't see what is happening, he's picked up his phone. He's quickly trying to Google it and find out if Burundi means anything. Yeah, he's going to be telling us. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to confirm. Confirm, I like that. You're a very smart student. Yeah, <laughs> smart student. All right, so have you picked up a hero yet? Um, my hero is 
Ruagasore. 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 Wow. Yeah. Uh, he's a hero of Burundi and he for the independence. Mm. So yeah, he's my hero. I like his uh, uh, like his heart, like how he got this initiative of like sacrificing himself for the the whole generation the generation, generation wow burundi. do you know yeah. the founder of burundi do you know the first president um uh, yeah. at first they, they were kings the, they, um, they were kings yeah yeah before mm. yeah they were kings yeah you don't remember the first president um, okay me, his name is um, <laughs> Boulevard. Uh, no, wait, uh, his I'm name, waiting, don't okay, yeah, mm. his name is Michombero, right? Yeah, yeah, are you sure or you are Michel guessing? Michel Michombero. Did you find out what Burundi means? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Interesting. So it's all about Afro Connect, and we're going to have a very beautiful time together this Saturday. And these wonderful Burundians, oh my God, have mercy. Oh my God, it's going to be an interesting time. But I'm going to fire another question at you. You don't like my questions, right? Just yeah, bring it, bring it, bring it. <laughs> Do you love music? Yeah, yeah, I'm into it. Uh, Do you yeah. have reggae music in Burundi? Uh, it's not very developed. It's not very common. Not Burundi. very common, not yeah. very popular there. Okay. Yeah. So what kind of music do you, do you listen to in Burundi? Uh, Who is the most popular artist in Burundi? Um, the most popular artist. Okay, you're thinking about it, no problem. He likes to think. I like that. How about you? You know the popular, the most popular artist in Burundi? Yeah, uh, I know about three of them. But you don't want to say it in public, right? Oh, why not? <laughs> why not? <They're>, no. <laughs> no, no, I, I'll say it. Yeah. It's, it's okay. on the net, yeah. yeah. We have, uh, for secular music, mm -hmm. we have someone called uh, Big Fizzo. Big Fizzo? I've Big never, Fizzo. What does he look like? Okay, um, he's not fair and he has some dreadlocks. Oh, dreadlocks, yeah. it's like me. Mm, oh wow! No, <laughs> yeah, uh, some somehow like you, and uh, we also have s for gospel for gospel music. Uh -huh. My favorite, we have someone called uh, Apollinaire, mm -hmm. and we also have Dudu. Dudu. Yeah, Dudu. Ah. Yeah, and we have uh, s some teams that are doing really well. We have Heavenly Melodies, and with Fab Fabrice and Maya. So, who's your favorite artist? Okay, gospel, Apollinaire. You like gospel music? Yeah. Apollinaire. Yeah. Apollinaire. Apollinaire. All right. Is it Apollinaire Campari? Apollinaire, um, Aweyiman. Aweyiman. Yeah. How do you spell Aweyiman? H A B. H A B. Yeah. Uh huh. H A B. H A B M A N A M N A H A B M N A N A Yeah. Uh huh. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Good. So I'm gonna find out who this person is. All Have right. you found out? Uh, is it Habonimana? Yeah. Yeah. Habonimana. Okay. Apollinaire Aborimana. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm reading something about this person here, and I think that it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Have you thought about your favorite artist yet? Um, Fernando. He's like, Fernando? Yeah, he's my favorite. What kind of music does he do? Uh, uh, he's singing the love music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the love music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah. The songs are very nice. Love music. They are deep in the mm. ones are very deep. Do you do you what's the capital of your country, Burundi? Uh, Bujumbura. It's Bujumbura? Yeah. Poli that's uh, economic, economic capital. Economic Kamala. The political capital is Gitega. We have to I see. How about Gitega? Gitega is what? Political Political capital. capital. Yeah. Ah. Alright, so where do you live? I live in Bujumbura. And I live in Chakuzo. Chakuzo. Yeah. All right, so I want to say thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate you and we love you. But if you have anything to say, I mean, to other Burundians in this country, I'm sure you're not the only Burundians in Ghana. Mm. There are more Burundians. Talk to them for me. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, I'd like to say to other Burundians, I wish them a very nice day yes. um, and a very good rest of the year. I love them and I wish them all the best in what they are doing. And to all Ghanaians listening, thank you for being nice to us and we hope it continues like that. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Are you done? Yes, please. Okay, and you? Uh, My brother. I wish them to to yeah, to connect, to stay there and connect and and be better at what they are doing and uh, yeah, every best of their yeah, of their life. Thank you so much. I want to appreciate you and I want to say thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate you and we love you. Now, if I have to play you any reggae song, which one would you like? One love, one ah. heart. <laughs> <laughs> By who? <laughs> is it is it by um Mewe? One love, one heart. Is it by Mewe? I don't know. Lucky Dube. Lucky Dube. Yeah, Lucky Dube. Okay. All right. So they want me to play them. One love, one heart from Lucky Dube. Mm-mm-mm. So this is Lucky Dube. Lucky Dube. 